Welcome to my guide on how to play Gunslinger in Killing Floor 2. So Gunslinger is a headshot oriented perk just like pretty much every perk in this game. So he's all about pistols and rifles and all that getting headshots. The biggest thing about this perk is maintaining your your Vrakum up which is the headshot counter that you will have. Um, it's a skill you can take. So in this guide I'm going to show you kind of how to play the class, the starter weapons, I'm going to go over every single gunslinger weapon, which ones you should be using, which ones you should be avoiding. And I'm also going to go over some like tips and stuff you can do to help take down Big Zeds. Because Gunslinger is more of a uh, Big Zed killer. He's, in my opinion, Gunslinger is probably the best perk in the entire game. Um, I think most people will agree with me. He's very good at taking down small Zeds and Big Zeds and not many classes can do that. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show is the skills that I, that I use for Gunslinger. So also Gunslinger, the only weakness that this perk really has is his health and also the player aim. If your aim is bad, then he's not gonna do, you're not gonna do well with him, but really it's his health. He dies super fast. He's considered like a glass cannon perk. He doesn't really have much in terms of survivability. I mean, Gunslinger has his speed, his mobility, compared to Sharpshooter. If it's your first time playing, I would recommend taking Gunslinger over Sharpshooter. Pretty much most, most of the time, Gunslinger is going to be a better perk. No offense to people who play Sharpshooter, but Gunslinger, in my opinion, is like objectively the, going to be the better perk to play. The skills that I use is Quick Draw, Rack em Up, Speed Loader, Skull Cracker, and Fanfire. I mean, all these other skills here, are not very good and so for this one here you're going to be doing hip fire most of the time you do not want to be aiming down your sights it's slow and hip fire you want to be as mobile as you can with lots of dps so the steady thing is going to make you slow and you don't want to be aiming down the sights unless the zeds are like super far away and you want to like snipe them or something like that but overall you're going to want the increased movement speed the reduced hip fire and the faster um, swapping of weapons because you're going to have a lot of guns on you and you're going to want to be swapping them for as much DPS as you can have. This next skill, Rack em Up, I would always take this one. The Bone Breaker thing also has an extra 30% more damage to arms and legs, but this perk is all about headshots, so you don't want anything to do with that doesn't benefit um, headshots. So like this, this is for arms and legs. You don't want to be doing that. Speed loader. So this in increases your reload speed, which helps with the DPS and you can spam your guns a lot more. This is um, for penetration, which is super situational and it's not going to be helpful at all. You're going to want the reload speed over this. Skull cracker. This is going to allow you to make Zed slower when you shoot him in the head. So this is going to be especially helpful for big Zeds like um, Scrakes and Flesh Bounds. It allows you to take them down without them actually touching you because you're going to have that act. You're going to be running backwards a lot of the times and this is going to make them a little slower than you and you can actually take them down during that time. Um, this is for shooting them in the chest and legs and you don't knock down as stupid. That's not going to help you. At all so definitely take skull cracker and this last one you want to be taking fan fire because it's going to allow you to spam your guns in z time and you can take down big zeds or any zeds really for that matter so you're not really going to be running out of ammo during z time or in general you shouldn't be running out because gunslinger has a lot of guns on him and a lot of ammo so you should not you shouldn't really need this unless you're aim is terrible and you're not getting headshots or something like that then yeah i mean if you're like a complete noob and you you cannot get headshots for the life of you then then you maybe want to use this one all these opposite ones here except maybe steady well unless your aim is that bad as well but overall never take these other skills here always take these ones that i'm showing you here okay so i'm on this test map here i made sure to have the max player count here so all the damage is going to be accurate for a six player hell on earth match so you're going to be starting off with these dual 1858 revolvers and a nine millimeter these 1858 revolvers are very very good in my opinion it's very good starter guns it's going to be very good for trash zeds it's not going to be good for big zeds of course but this is going to be a very reliable early starting gun. I would recommend keeping these as long as you possibly can. 
So like if you run out of ammo for them, just just keep refilling them. I would say keep refilling these for as long as you possibly can. Maybe up to like wave four or five or I would keep these and then get like your big Z killer gun. So like get something like 1858 revolvers, keep these, then go straight for like either the the Deagles, dual Deagles, or you could go for the SPX upgraded twice. And you could keep these for the smaller Zeds and have your big Zed killer. But that's really not necessary for regular um, Hell on Earth. It's more for Hell on Earth Plus, which is more advanced. And if you just if you're a regular Hell on Earth player, you can you don't really need a big Zed killer gun until like maybe wave five or six or something like that. So yeah, these are very good trash killers. The nine millimeter is a very reliable secondary. Since you have rack em up, all of these pistols here will give you that extra 50% damage bonus. So the nine millimeter and also the HM Tech 101. The HM Tech 101 will also get that advantage of the rack em up. So that's also a decent starter gun as well. If you want it something, if you want a lot of ammo or something to spam with. Just to show you what that looks like, let me just spawn a bunch of Zeds here. So you see, just aim for the head. You don't really need to aim like that. I like to do that sometimes if my aim is bad, but can do that and you just spam, keep aiming for the head. Sorry if my aim is kind of ass right now. <laughs> um, I kind of just woke up, so that's my excuse. We yeah, just always go for headshots. You can also do some bashing for clots and all that. And then for these um, riders, you usually want to go for the legs here instead of the head. Unless you have like um, a deagle or something like that, then you can go for the headshots. Let me spawn a, some other Zeds just to show you what that would be like. Sometimes I like to aim, but overall you don't need to aim unless you just... I go back and forth. So yeah, you can... It's a little hard during Zed time. You kind of have to tap fire sometimes, but... Also, there's also um, reload canceling, which is what I'm doing here. I'm shooting, I'm reloading, and during mid-reloading, I'm pressing V, which is bash. And I'm pressing V and also mouse click, so I can... And shoot faster, it allows my DPS to go a lot higher up and I don't have to wait to shoot every time I reload. So that's something you're going to want to get good at and make sure you can master reload canceling, which is going to help you. It's one of the best things you can do is get good with reload canceling and also your bashing. If you can do good with both of those things and you kind of have like a good portion of the class mastered and um, early waves are going to be pretty easy. Everything is going to be easier if you can manage to reload cancel. Now let me go over every single gun that Gunslinger has. So M19, okay, so first off, I would never buy a single pistol for this class. You always want to get dual of everything, two of everything. The only time I would recommend getting a single pistol is if you're like wave two or three and you're starving for money and you can't afford something like that you could get like a single uh desert eagle which could be good for like riders or bloats or something like that you could do that but overall i would just say save up and wait until you can get like a, something you can get two of a gun instead of a single one i'm just going to ignore all the regular single pistols here so dual m1911s this is a very good trash killer this is like a step up from the 1858s Ever so slightly better. HRG winter bites suck. I would never use them. You don't want anything that like has weird effects on the Zeds because then they're like stumble around and they're messed with your headshots. So I would avoid the winter bites. The dual rhinos, these are DLC guns. They kind of suck. They're not very practical. They have like good penetration so they can like, they're like nail guns kind of. So they like scatter. So you can kill a bunch of trash in like one shot but it's very situa situational and they just don't have very much ammo and the damage isn't that great either so just i would never use the rhinos at all just kind of avoid them desert eagle these are in my opinion some of my favorite guns in the entire game you can never go on with the desert eagles they're like medium trash killers you can also use them for big sets like scrakes and flesh bounds but I usually use these for like husks, riders, eaters, pretty much anything in between that's not like a trash head, like a crawler and clot or a flesh bounce or anything in between those, the, the Desert Eagles shines really well. Unless you upgrade them once, then they can do pretty good for flesh bounds as well. 
But they take they take the entire magazine to to um, decap a flesh pound. These dual piranha pistols, these are actually berserker guns and they're also DLC guns. These are pretty bad. I they don't have much ammunition. You can pick up the ammo, but overall these are more for berserker. But even for that perk, I would never recommend using these. These are not very good. The HRG disruptor. The only good thing about this gun is it can stun strikes and it can help you take down Big Z slightly easier but overall they're not very practical and I would just avoid using them. It's way too much money and for what it does it's not worth it. The dual magnums, these are some of the best Big Z killer guns on this class. The only thing that is better than these magnums here are the SPX upgraded twice. It really just depends on what you want out of this class. Very very good Big Z killer. You're gonna primarily use this just for scrakes and flesh pounds. The only negative thing about this gun is they have pretty insane recoil during Z time. So you want to like do tap firing with it. But definitely recommend taking these. You could take these dual magnums, dual deagles, and also the dual M1911s, that's a pretty good loadout that you can do. I'm going to discuss all of the loadouts at the end of this and I can show you which loadouts you should be using. The dual AF2011s, I actually don't use these. I only use them in, um, actually I think I lied here. The only time I do use a single pistol here is with the single AF. Very good trash killers. I would argue these are the best trash killers on Gunslinger. I mean, you got the 1858 revolvers, which are great trash killers. The M1911s were also great for that. You got a single Glock, which can be good for that. I would say the AF2011s are the best trash killers. They're very spammy, and they have a ton of ammunition. The only downside is that they're pretty expensive to refill the ammunition of it. So sometimes I like to wait or buy this um, way later in the match because this usually suffices for what I need. The dual Glock 18Cs, these have insane recoil. I don't use this very often. If I'm going to use a Glock, a lot of the times I just use a single one. I use this in tap fire mode and I can just tap fire the um, trash Zeds and it works. It's almost like a better 9mm, but it's a lot more spammy with a huge ammo reserve. So that's always an option. The HM Tech 101, that is a very reliable secondary weapon. It also works for rack em up, so, and you can also do side heals to your team. It's only one carry weight. I'd recommend pretty much every perk, every single player to have HM Tech 101 on them or some kind of healing gun if they can. Since it's only one carry weight, it shouldn't be an issue. It should pretty much work for every loadout. The Winchester 1894, this, never use this. I only use this um, if I pick it up off the ground. Now just like spam use it, but overall this is like a worse version of the SPX and you're not really gonna wanna use this unless you're trying to do like a weird cowboy build or something like that. Uh, but this is a sharpshooter. This is the starter sharpshooter gun, so don't use this on Slinger for the most part. It works, but it's it's not going to be your best option. The HX-25, this is a demo gun. <laughs> um, this is a demo gun, so don't don't be using this on Slinger. You're not going to... I mean, it surprisingly works with rack -em up but otherwise, never use this. This is kind of goes against the design of the class. Um, I guess it's okay for flesh pounds, I guess, if you upgrade it a bunch. But otherwise, don't use this. This is... This is a demo gun. This is not a gunslinger gun. Same thing with these Spitfires. These are going to have that stupid, like, um, firebugs in general are going to be your enemy as gunslinger. Demos and firebugs, any chaos perk, is going to mess with your aim and you're going to hate them as gunslinger. That, from my experience, I don't like firebugs or demos as gunslinger. That's just how it is. They kind of go against each other, so. This stupid stumble effect that the fire is going to have from the Spitfires is going to make headshots significantly harder than what it would be without them. So only use these if you just want to go crazy and spam, but otherwise these are not going to be good for headshots and you should never really use them. The SPX Centerfire. This is objectively the best Big Z killer gun in the game. Let me just give you, let me just give myself some money here. Oh my god. <laughs> There you go. So let me get what the oh, I think I have to open back trader again is what I have to do. Okay. So the SPX, you can buy this. Sometimes I like to keep my 1858 revolvers and go straight for the center fire. It's very cheap. It's only 650, so you can really if you can afford this by like wave 2 or 3, honestly. So the trick with the center fire is 
you upgrade this twice, which makes it way, way, way better for big sets. When it's upgraded twice, it makes taking down flesh bounds and streaks way easier. So let me just demonstrate that real fast here. See how easy that is? It, it takes, I think, five to six shots to kill a big Zed. Yeah, it takes like five to six shots to kill one. It, it, it's objectively going to be the best big Zed killer in gun for a gunslinger and one of the best in the game. Oh, oh my god, my aim. See, even if I have bad aim, do I have... It almost feels like it's too good right now. That's how good this gun is. The only real downside with the SPX is it kind of it's reloading is kind of forever. So if you if you miss a few shots, it can be pretty bad. And a lot of the times you just need extremely good aim, and you're going to want to master your aim with this gun. That it feels it almost feels. I do have the six player count right now, so I don't know. It feels really really good right now. But yeah, it's going to be your main big Z killer. The SPX is going to be the king in that regard. Then we have the dual 9mm. This is, you're never going to want this. You're going to maybe pick a secondary 9mm off the ground. And if you do, if you do pick one up off the ground, just, I would immediately sell it. It's going to be precious carry weight that you're going to want for other things in your build. 9, 9mm are not very that great to begin with. They don't have much ammunition and they're more of like a last resort backup kind of gun. It's for like starter waves, but otherwise never, never buy this. And the dashing gun, that is a meme gun that you should never be using this on any class for that matter. If you see someone using this, you can call them stupid <laughs> and yeah, just call them, call them stupid. There's, there's nothing else to say about it. Never buy this. This is... This is a very, very stupid gun. That's all I can really say about it. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss any guns here. I don't think I did. So let me go over the loadouts for Gunslinger that I like to use here. So so usually I would just buy a single Deagle here for like wave two or three or something like that, or go for the SPX if it's um, Hell on Earth Plus. But otherwise a single Deagle would be the next gun I would buy. Then eventually I'll buy myself dual Deagles and then I'll buy myself these dual magnums here. And then I will usually, I'll sell these here for the dual M1911s. Then once I have this all here, I have one for every single type of Z here, which this is going to be for flesh pounds and sometimes scrakes. This will be for all the medium Zs and sometimes scrakes. And these will be for the trash Zs. And then I'll buy myself uh, HM Tech 101, which will be good for side heels. And it'll be like a, It'll also be for trash zeds and the 9mm also for trash zeds. This is one build you can do. You can upgrade the M1911 ones and the HM Tech 101 once as well. So you got you got a gun here. This is my favorite build, my favorite loadout for a gunslinger. This is what I use most of the time. It's not objectively the best loadout, but it's the loadout that's like overall a good it's good for everything. It's got stuff for big Zeds, medium Zeds, small Zeds with a ton of ammunition. You have a lot of ammunition in this build here and you, you shouldn't really have much issue with this build. This will work for pretty much, this will work for six player Hell on Earth. You can swap out the M1911s for a single Glock. This is going to give you a lot more ammunition and you want to be using this thing in single fire here. And it's very spammy. It's also it's an um, alternative to the M1911s, but I think the M1911s are better than a single Glock. But this is another option if you want to use if you want to like a change of pace or something else to use. If your aim is bad, this can be a good spammy trash dead killer. The next build you can do is an SPX, upgraded that twice here, which is going to be the main big Z killer. This will be for trash Zeds. Then eventually you're going to want to trade these 1858 revolvers out for a single AF. And these will be very, very good trash Zed killers. Very spammy, but very expensive for refilling the ammunition. And then these dual deagles. And this is also a very solid build that you can do here. Um, you can buy an HM Tech 101 
um, as well, but it's not really necessary. It's just uh, to fill the last carry weight. Your flesh pound uh, depleter, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, very good. Um, also for for scrakes, um, these are for me, um, middle ground sets, the gliders, flesh, um, bloats, husks, and all that. And then you got your trash dead killer right here. This is another build that might be a bit of a hot take here. So you got the dual Magnums upgraded ones, the dual Deagles upgraded ones, and the HM Tech upgraded ones. This is going to be very, very good for Big Zeds. That's what this build is all about. It's going to, you have two very powerful Big Zed killer guns right here. And this will be what you use for all the trash heads. People might get mad if you use this build on, on Hell and Earth Plus because it's kind of one-sided. You might struggle to hold your lane sometimes. But for regular Hell and Earth, this is going to be a very good Big Zed Killer build. Then the dual Glock 18Cs, the dual Deagles, and a single AF. This is another build that I like. This is like a very spammy build. You So with these Glocks here, you can only use them in automatic. These are going to be what you use for flesh pounds and strikes. The only issue with these Glocks, again, the recoil is absolutely insane on them. Uh, I'm gonna sh just demonstrate what that looks like real fast here. So he's raged, oh, I don't know why he's raged. You really gotta like, you really gotta pull down the mouse here to do well with this. Oops. So yeah, it, it it works. It's not my favorite build, but it's definitely a fun build to use. And then one last build you can also use is these dual M1911s upgraded twice, dual Deagles upgraded once, and a single AF. So these are going to be very spammy. Good for, I want to say good, but they're they're decent for big Zeds. You can use these for flesh pounds and scrakes. Very good for Z time. You can spam these like crazy. And these deagles are also going to be pretty good for scrakes since they're upgraded once. So you could like spam these and then you swap to your deagles and also start spamming that if you run out of, um, if you have to like reload during a takedown of a big Z. So yeah, that's every single loadout for Gunslinger. Those are the loadouts I like to use. I'm sure there's other loadouts that I may have missed or maybe other people who want to leave down in the comments what they also use for this class. I mostly use the two loadouts that I mentioned with the um, BSPX for the Magnum Deagles and M1911s. Those are the two loadouts that I like to use. So let me just go over a few quick tips that you can use for Gunslinger. You have these nail bombs here, you have five of them. If you throw two nail bombs at a Big Zed's feet, you can stun them, say like that, and it allows you to get an easy opening here. There you go. So it just takes two nail bombs, you only have five of them, so you can stun two Big Zed's with, with them. So you have two nail bombs, stun them, and then shoot them in the head. So yeah, it makes takedowns a lot easier. I'm not the best at them, but definitely something you want to keep in mind. It's also good for like, um, if you want to clear a path, there's like a big horde in front of you, you can throw a nail bomb down, it can stun the Zeds around you. But overall, save these nail bombs for like emergency situations or um, for big Zeds. Okay, so another trick you can do here is for these big Zeds, Say if there's a big Z blocking a door or a pathway and you want to get around it or if it's raged at you, just go up to it, bash it, it will stun them for a few seconds and allow you to get around them. So like, see this flesh pound here, I'll just, oh, that's not what was supposed to happen. Oh my God. Am I on God mode? I think I am. You know, give you that few extra seconds to not get hit. And especially if there's a big line of Zeds in front of you. This also works for regular Zeds here too but especially helpful for big Zeds. If there's like a big line of Zeds blocking a pathway, sometimes you're better off just going up close to them, bashing them, and keep bashing the ones in front of you. It can allow you, it can allow you to um, make your escape without getting hit. So 
definitely utilize the bashing. Another thing for the bashing here is get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? You're being annoying. Okay. So another thing with this bashing here is um, that's not the Z. Oh, that was a good shot there. So another thing you can do here is you can use the bashing here to take down clots very easily. If you want to save ammunition, you can save a little bit of uh, money as well with this. As you just go up to him, bash him, bash him in the head. I like to do this for starter waves a lot. Maybe I should probably get rid of a god mode here. So you can, you just gotta time it right. This also works for crawlers as well. Crawlers can be kind of weird. Sometimes you want to aim like completely straight forward like this. Depends on where they're at. See like that, you want to aim like directly in front of you. Other times you want to aim downwards at their head. But it just depends on the time like that here. See? Um, another thing you can do for these crawlers here is you can just hop on top of them. You can do these, this thing called Z Stomp. So there's a crawler in your way, you just hop on top of their head and it stuns them for a bit. It allows you to escape. I use that all of the time, especially if I'm reloading or if it's in front of you and I can't get a good headshot or something. I'll just jump over it like that. You can block these flesh pound hits, even scrapes, but it's a lot harder to do that. So you don't really want to be using your knife. I mean, you can use your knife here to take down clots and stuff like this and kind of, you know, take them down. But otherwise, I only ever use this knife here to parry. So if you time it correctly, you can parry a hit like that. Let me get rid of God mode here just to show you the damage reduction it does here. So I'd say if this Zed here is raged or something, I have to reload and he's already raged or he's right in front of me. I just take out my knife and I press the middle mouse button and I can parry it. And I take a lot less hit, a lot less damage here. So yeah, like that. Huge da it's it's a bit of a damage reduction. It can save you can save you from death from getting um, hit by these flesh pounds here. So yeah, I've pretty much covered how to deal with every single big Z here, which you should be doing. Always going for headshots, of course. For the husks, go for the, the, the fuel tank. For the, um, where are they? The Edars, you're going to want to go for the, like, the glowy centerpiece. And for the riders, you want to go for the legs. Unless you have, like, a Deagle or an SPX or something like that, you can, then you can go for the headshots here. Let me just show you how effective this is against riders. I think you need one rack them up. Yeah, you can just one shot them in the head. Makes it very easy to take care of them. That's how to play Gunslinger in Killing Floor 2. I'm going to add clips after every loadout here just to show you what that's like to take down big Zeds. But otherwise, you should know how to play Gunslinger now and which guns you should be using and some decent loadouts you want to use. So yeah, just a quick review of what I've said here. So Gunslinger, big Zed killer, you want to get rack em up. Um, always go for headshots. You are going to be the big Zed killer perk. So if anyone in a different lane like a commando or a SWAT is requesting help, this is, it's your job to go over there and help them take down the big Zed. And if you're a firebug or demo, do not be raging big Zeds like flesh pounds or scrakes. Wait for the gunslinger or the sharpshooter on the team to take them down. Because if you attack them, you, you, it's only going to make gunslinger, gunslinger's job much harder than it needs to be. And you're probably going to get someone killed. <laughs> so yeah, don't, don't be raging things. Let gunslinger or sharpshooter take care take care of the big zeds. Gunslinger is my favorite class because it can deal with every type of zed. Again, Gunslinger is a glass cannon perk, so just you want to be very careful with your health. Yeah, that's everything you need to, you need to know about Gunslinger. I hope you enjoyed this um, guide here. Hopefully it wasn't too long or anything. And yeah, I will see you next time.